welcome to another one of our Kia Masterclasses. Today, we are going to be talking the art of spin bowling. And who better to be doing that with than Surrey captain and England off spinner, Gareth Batty. Gareth, thanks for joining us. But um, first and foremost, when it comes to, to spin, I suppose the most important thing is that you turn the ball. Contact with the, with the ball is with the fingers. How do you grip it? it it's pretty simple. Um, if you think about it, just splitting your fingers, so it's, you don't want it feeling uncomfortable, but you need enough torsion through there to be able to get some kind of purchase down the seam of the ball. You're trying to get the seam to rotate in this manner, so pointing for the guys that know it, leg slip, otherwise to the batsman's leg stump. Um, and literally, like you're turning a doorknob as you're going in a door, you're, you're looking to do that as hard as you can. Yeah, and so in terms of that, uh, that tension, I mean, how, how best to get the most revolutions on that ball? Do you, does it need to be tightly in there or do you, does it need to be loose? I've seen Shane Warne talk about having a very loose grip to bowl yeah. leg spin. Is it different for off spin? I think it's different for each individual. Right. There's no real right or wrong as far as I'm concerned. I'm mm. quite tight in there, so hopefully you wouldn't be able to pull the ball out of my hand once yeah. I'm in there. I'm, I'm something in there. But I'm trying to get this little bit of my finger by my nail, the last point of contact to get the real whip off the ball. When I'm bowling well, it comes off that rather than further down the finger. And, and does that have then translate into the sort of like the, the drift and the, and the dip that we see when, when the ball's coming out perfectly? 100%. If it comes off there, it's almost like a spinning top. It's the last bit of the, of the, um, the whip. So you, you're hopefully getting the, the revolutions going up and down like this. When you get it perfect, you get up and down and drift, and then you get the spin at the end. Obviously, if you go more square seam, you get a little bit more drift and sometimes less spin because you're asking the ball to go against itself. Whereas this way, if it's pointing at leg slip, you get the drift, the drop and the spin. OK, what about variations? Word we hear a lot in, uh, in modern cricket. Um, how about make, beating the, the, the right-handed batsman on the outside of the bat? How would you go about that? Um, two ways. You could go a square seam and try and hit on the shiny side to make yep. it skid on like this and maybe just open your shoulders up a fraction to sling it a little bit. Yeah. Probably the, the best way, and there so, aren't oh, many just, Let's just stop there. So, so you say sling it a bit. Does that mean your, your arm's going to come down a bit lower? Can you just walk so us through that? You're fundamentally looking for square spin. Yeah. So rather than, sorry, I'll show you the first one. This will be over spin. You're going to go more here, point the seam up there and follow through. Your, hip, your shoulders should be working that way with your hips. Yeah. To do the outside edge, you're going to hold in here, but actually, your shoulders are going to rotate this way as you release the ball to push it on the outside edge. Okay, and, and as far as the batsman's concerned, down at the other end, he's not seeing a great deal of difference in the way the ball's coming down at him, is he? That, that, the, the trick is to make the ball look like it's behaving the same way. Yeah, I mean, hopefully with this one, it comes a bit more direct, yeah. and this one, it's got the drop, so everything happens at the last minute. Yeah. Um, but fundamentally, it looks the same out of the hand. Right, great. Okay, terrific stuff. Now, a lot of people playing the game for the first time might think to themselves, I'm a little bit lazy, I don't really fancy running up a long way, I'm going to become a spin bowler because it doesn't look like it takes an enormous amount out of you. Now, I, that's not right, is it? You're not, you're not just a lazy so-and-so. You're just looking at the size of my cheeks and thinking <laughs> you should be running a bit harder. Um, no, actually, it all happens at the crease. Yeah. Um, so your momentum in is purely just to get the pace on the ball, but actually holding yourself here you're having to work very hard from knee to hip to hold that position. Yeah. Then your front side keeps you tall, but then actually it all happens with your snap. You fundamentally want in your hips to turn around, swap over and go with your shoulder rotation going this way with your hips. Huge power. Yeah, so I mean that, that, that takes quite a lot of strength and stability to be able to maintain that ball after the ball. Because you, you sometimes ask the ball 30, 40 over spells, aren't you? Yep. Although you're captain, so you, could, you can stop yourself from doing that. Plus I'm very old, so you've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> but ideally you should be bowling 30, 40 over spells. Yeah. Uh, so you need to keep the strength and the power. Yeah. So keep it in um, very simple terms. These are your power positions here and here. You get those two working together. So if you were to boxing, you stay side on to then go boom. Yeah. Exactly the same for bowling. Stay side on to engage that hip. And that, that sort of that back leg then sort of travels through down towards down towards the target. So you're also having to pick up and drive through, aren't you? Yeah, so people talk about a pivot, that should happen naturally. So your pivot comes from your front front foot. As this hip drive comes through, mm -hmm. poof, your hip, uh, sorry, your toe has to pivot. Yeah. This has to come through and it's all sort of a chain reaction that you've created something that just has to fall down the wicket. Right, so plenty of explosive power there, um, I, I think you'll agree. So are, th are there any particular um, drills that you like to do in order to, in order to make sure that you keep that form 
um, you know, keep make sure that the hips and the shoulders and everything are rotating down towards the target. Yeah, I, I quite like a standing start. So just a step in and bowl. So you're going to go boom and into your action and bowl because it actually challenges your strongest muscles to work hard. As soon as you have more momentum, yeah. you don't have to work quite as hard with your action. Yeah. So try and eradicate the momentum for game time. And sometimes just a standing start really hones in the strength required to, to have a good solid action. Well, wow. okay. Well, there you have it, folks. It, it isn't all about uh, just getting out of uh, getting out of putting the miles in, being a fast bowler. There's an enormous amount of strength and dynamism involved in bowling a spin. Not to mention having to have a little bit up top to fox those batsmen who are trying to slug you out of the park. Thanks, Gareth. Pleasure.